911, where is your emergency? It was a terrible accident. The car flipped. It's on the side. Okay, are you involved or are you just calling it in? We need to no, I'm just calling it in. This okay. We flipped and... Oh, God. Okay, were you involved? Uh, how many people are injured, you know? Uh, one, two, three. Multiple. Multiple. I don't even know how many. Man, I'm telling you, it's gone. I feel four or five kids are kids laying in ditches. Definitely uh, knew we had this meeting, and, <laughs> and so yeah, to make, make sure that we are uh, going to be fresh and uh, ready to go. Yeah. Looks like he's stuck Good in morning. traffic. Oh, there he is. Hi. <laughs> Mr. Thompson, right? Yes. Nice right. This is Mr. Bradley. Bradley. Nice to meet you, Bradley. Sorry, I'm late. <laughs> LA traffic, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know all too well. Congratulations again on the wedding. I'm really happy for you, bro. Oh, congratulations! Congratulations! Thank, nice. you. Thank nice. you. Thank you. Yeah, I just got married. Definitely. Oh, wow. Wow. So how may our uh, firm be of service to you guys today? Well, uh, we're expanding as a business uh, and uh, we're looking to grow outside of Los Angeles, all throughout California. And uh, I got referred to you by an associate of mine and said that you were the best in town. And so I, uh, as we are growing, um, we don't want any surprises, as you know. And um, so uh, can you tell me a little, a little more about you, you guys, what you've done? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, you see, our firm specializes in corporate risk management. Mm -hmm. So what we basically do is we look at the structure of your company, mm -hmm. and we want to see where there are weaknesses. We analyze it, and we, we get rid of the, the problem areas. Yeah, I mean, and so uh, to, on a greater scale, what we do is we like dig into like the history of your employees because you know, we ultimately don't want anything that one of your employees did in the past to come back and affect the growth of your business. Mm -hmm. uh, so you'll get a questionnaire from me that will be like very detailed, something that you would email out to your employees. Uh, and once you get it back, 
forward it to me so that way uh, we can dig deeper, you know, and make sure that there's nothing that w- can get uncovered and that would affect your, your spotlight in the media. Exactly, because in this day and age with social media mm-hmm. and the way that information travels so quickly, mm-hmm. things can get really out of control. Yeah. So we want to head off those issues before they, they occur, obviously. Yeah. Okay, good. Well, yeah, so uh, I will send that questionnaire out to you guys by the end of the day. Uh, and yeah, we look forward to working with you guys. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, we'll definitely be in contact. Right. Right. You can send an initial yeah. question to Martel. Thank you. I'm happy to start the process with you guys. Cool. Thanks. Pleasure to meet awesome. you. Right. Nice to meet you. Okay. Nice to meet you. I'll show you guys out. Okay, okay. that's perfect. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right, congratulations on the wedding. Oh, thank you so right. much. Thank, thank you so congrats. much. Look forward, to, look forward to working with you guys in the future. Okay, okay. Thank you. Oh. Have a great day, gentlemen. Man, dude, I cannot stop thinking about it. Man, you, I cannot believe you got married, bro. What? Man, you are seriously about to trade in your condoms for some diapers? Uh, oh, my ha, God. Ha, funny. This is bad. You know what, man? You need to find yourself a girl and settle down. Huh? What, what, you think this player thing is going to work out for you forever? I mean, bro, man, man. W- w- women are not a game that you can just play with all you want. Hold on. Wait. Are, are you trying to tell me that being a good guy has always worked well for you? Hey, yeah. man, I'm the one who's God. married here, yeah, okay? Yeah, I'm sure. Come on, man. <laughs> Crazy. Or what? Yeah. Yeah. So what are you what are you trying to eat, man? Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, how about Chinese pizza? Nah, it was dry last time. Yeah, that's true. How about Chinese? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Hey, how you doing, Angel Face? Call right back. My husband just got home. Okay, okay. Bye bye, sir. Hi, honey. Hey, how are you? Good. So, what'd you do today, baby? Nothing special. Oh, I had an amazing day. You know, I was working this case for this multimillionaire client. I think he was very happy with the end result. You're not gonna believe this. He actually pulled me aside and said that he was so happy with the work I did for him, he might even hire me to be his personal attorney. Can you believe that? I mean, that's incredible. I need to talk to you. Okay, okay, but listen to me, listen to me. This is what I've always dreamed of, you know? This is a huge step up for me. Cheers. That's great. I can't wait to start. I'm so happy. But my auntie's sick and desperately needs treatment. Do you have any job openings at your company? <clears throat> I, I'd do anything. Hello, 
close the door on your way out.
Clean up, baby girl. I know, baby. I miss your mom, too. She was such a gentle soul. I just miss her so much. I feel like I'm cursed for something. First I was my parents. you not feeling well. I don't know, I'm just tired of hitting rock bottom to find that I can break through a new low. Baby, don't feel like that. Everything happens for a reason. And don't beat yourself up inside. None of this <laughs> is your fault. It's just life. It's unfair. But things will be better. Just never give up hope. Your life. It's been ten years since. I lost my parents. It's been hell for me ever since. Am I, am I going crazy? Am I crazy? Am I gone crazy? Why is my life so unfair? No. Am I crazy? Taking 20%. I guess we spoke about this. No. Up. Oh. One second. Gia? Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna call you back. Come on in. Your job is to satisfy the customer. You go to their house, perform whatever they want. You do it and leave with no attachment. You're on your own, so be careful. And whatever you make, 50% of it belongs to me. Got it. When can I start? Keep your phone on you. You might start as soon as tomorrow night. Um, <clears throat> I actually don't have a phone right now. Quit your to return it. Keep it on 24-7. All right, I really appreciate it, thank you. Hey, Rama. Hey. How are you feeling? Okay, just a little pain in my chest. In my heart, it hurts a lot. I'll be fine. How was your day, baby girl? It was good. I um, I found a job. Wow, that's good news, baby girl. Mm -hmm. That's good news. I I gotta go get ready for work, Grandma. You ever been rich or you ever had parents that no matter what you did for them it was never good enough 
Well, those are the type of parents I had. They were always on my back, pushing me left and right. They wanted me to be some lawyer, which I never wanted to be. I got a lot of money. Are you listening to me, Gia? Even though I accomplished all these things in my life, got nice clothes, got money in the bank, got a nice house, got a beautiful wife, but yet and still, it's still not good enough for me. And it's really frustrating. Oh, man, why? I, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for coming. I, I needed this. I needed this. Can you, can you come back again? is than usual. I'm not asking for sex. So what do you want? I want you to dress me like a baby. In a diaper. Feed me out of a out of a bottle. And if I misbehave, I want you to whip me. Whip you? Yeah, please. Whip me. Spank the hell out of me. And if you do good, I'll request you next time. I told you, if I misbehave, whip me. Oh, harder. Harder. Gia, I'm paying you. Do your job. Ah. Harder. Ow. You did an, an amazing job. I had a wonderful experience. I'm definitely going to get in touch with you on the next one. By the way, did I tell you the reason that I, I'm obsessed with pain? When I was a little kid, my parents... Hello? No, sir. Baby, please. Baby. Baby, please don't go. Baby. Baby, I love you. Please, I love you. How could you do this to us, huh? Baby, please. Please! She really needs treatment as soon as possible. How long do we have? I wouldn't wait more than a couple of weeks. We should keep a close eye on her, okay? Okay. That sounds great. Thank you, Doctor. Tell me you're quitting already. <laughs> no. I was um <clears throat> actually wondering if I could get more calls per day. Um sure. Yeah. Let me see what I can do. Thank you. I really appreciate it. You okay? I'm just trying to save the last important person left I have. Your mom? No, my grandmother. 
I lost both my parents a long time ago. Um, I'm sorry to hear that. I know what it's like to have lost somebody. I'm sorry. Thank you for your help. <clears throat> I really appreciate it. feed myself you know I know I know you're a young soul but you need your rest and it makes me feel useful so I don't know I don't mind oh almost forgot I got you something baby what is this it's a phone I know what it is girl please if anything happens call me right away I worry thank you baby but I promise you, I'll be fine. Stop worrying about me so much. You know what? You need a life of your own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello? I ain't paying for this! Sorry, emergency! And breathe out. Doctor, is she gonna be okay? Well, to be honest, Gia, her condition is stabilizing. However, she needs treatment as soon as possible. Even at this point, there's no guarantees. When can she go home? Oh, you can take her home now. Uh, the hospital fills out per night and the insurance doesn't cover more than three consecutive days. Okay, but keep a close eye on her. And keep her moving regularly. Take her for walks. It'll help keep her blood flowing. And uh, make sure she gets these. They're generic medications, so they aren't very expensive. This one she gets once a day, and this one twice daily for 10 days, okay? Thank you, doctor. Actually, doctor, um, I was wondering, could you call us a cab? I don't get service in here. Sure. Thank you. I'm actually finishing up my shift in about 15 minutes. If you'd like, I can give you both a lift. That'd be amazing. Thank you, doctor.
used to come here with your mom all the time. She loved coming to this park because it's so fun and peaceful. She loved the plants. She was very smart and beautiful, just like you, baby. And if she was here today, she'd be so proud of you. Because you've grown up to be a fine young lady. I doubt it. Come on, baby girl. Come on, listen. Light up a smile for me, please. Light up a smile. There you go. I know you've been through a lot and times are hard right now for you. But baby, it's gonna be alright. Forget about him. I ain't run this fucking company on my own. I don't need them. You, come here, bitch. Give me some. I'm sorry, sir, but um, I think I better go. What? You think you can fucking walk away from me too? Ain't gonna happen. <clears throat> Miss! Miss, are you okay? Damn it. Miss, are you okay? Can you hear me? Miss! Miss! Take it easy. Are you okay? <laughs> Where am I? Who are you? How did I get whoa, here? Whoa, whoa, just calm down, okay? Look, I'm not gonna hurt you, I promise. Like, I was driving yesterday and I saw you passed out on the street. I mean, I, I didn't know what to do. You, you were unconscious but breathing fine, so I brought you here. Can I ask you what happened? It seems like you were attacked. I have street. to go. Where, where are my things? Okay, here. Okay, look, your purse is right there. Okay, look, can, look. I got it. Okay, look, can, I, can I at least take you to the hospital or can I take you home?
you stick your bone. Watch your step. Okay. Here are your keys. some tea or or some water huh? okay let me get you some water okay something to drink or eat but the fridge is completely empty okay um, here's my card okay um, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go please if you need anything just give me a call okay Take care. Okay. Oh, 
did this to you? What happened? <laughs> Baby. Baby. It's okay. some groceries. I noticed your fridge was empty earlier. Oh, thank you. Uh, Do you. Baby, who is this? It's... Alexander. Hello. Hi. Welcome in. Thank you. No, he was just leaving. Baby, don't be silly. Be nice. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to offend you. What is that? Oh, I brought some groceries. You know, I thought I might cook you dinner. I mean, if, if that's okay with you. Welcome, man. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Thank you. I don't need this pity, Grandma. I can earn the money myself. Look, baby, you've been working hard the last few months to take care of the house. And if someone wants to help us, let them, okay? Because we would do the same for someone in need if we had extra. Yeah, I guess that's true. She raised me. She raised a nice young man. Thank you, ma'am. She was an amazing woman. She passed away about a year ago. Yeah, my mm -hmm. parents, about 10 years ago. I'm so sorry to hear that, young man. It's okay, thank you. Thank you for the delicious meal in the fall. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you so much for having me in. Good night. Good night. Submitted so we can get you guys open. Fantastic. We're looking forward to it. Yeah, I, I think this is going to be a great partnership between us. I, I love the food. Yeah, we, uh, we really appreciate you having us come in today. <laughs> yeah, we, we appreciate you guys coming out as well, right, Alex? Yeah, 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 yeah we really appreciate it. Yeah, so uh, we'll be in touch, right? Yeah. Cool. Sounds good. All right. All right. Thank nice you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure. Likewise. Thank you. Yeah. Meet you guys out here. Thank you so much. We'll be in contact soon. Yeah. Dude, what the hell is going on in your head? What? Man, it's like you're here, but you're not really here. Martel, man, I'm telling you, this girl I met, 
She was amazing. Dude, not another story about a girl. Come on, we all know you have bad luck with women. Yeah, yeah, but I'm telling you, this one is different, Martel, man. She's like special. Right, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Like, let's go. I don't I have no clue how you talk love so easily. Like, She's so amazing. It's crazy. I'm so sorry that happened to you. If you want to quit, I completely understand. I want to quit. But I need to work. My grandmother's sick, and I'm the only one who can pay for her surgery. Okay. But please, be safe. And I'm gonna make sure that that bastard gets exactly what's coming to him. Thank you. Girls gotta be there for each other. Be safe. Stalking me? Maybe yes, maybe no. <laughs> like I was just in a neighborhood and I thought I'd stop by and see how you're feeling. Well, I'm doing fine, thanks for asking. But I was just on my way out, so I should go. Uh, Gia, uh, excuse me, please. Um, look, I, uh, well, I mean, I, I, I can't help it. I, I've been thinking about you all the time since I met you. Well, I think you've lost your mind, Alexander. <laughs> maybe. But can I get a few moments of your time, please? Like, it'll just be a few minutes. Sure. see that you're the type of person that puts other people's needs before your own. Not to mention you're very beautiful, smart, and you're a very loving and kind-hearted person who's very special. What? Now you're psychic? <laughs> nah. But tell me something, Gia. Why are you so sad all the time? Life? I've grown up without my parents. It's been really hard. I feel, I feel like I'm cursed or something. First my parents, 
Then I went to live with my auntie. She took care of me, but she got sick and passed away recently. I tried everything that I could, but it wasn't enough. Now the only person I have left is dying. <laughs> but um you don't need to you don't need to hear all of that. But yeah. It's the life of Gia. Wow. Seems like life has been really tough for you. I'm so sorry for all your loss. But have faith though. It gets better. What, though? I feel like my life's a nightmare that I'll never wake up from. Yeah. I mean, you know, life is not fair. But hey, as long as we're breathing, there's always hope. <laughs> Annoyingly optimistic. <laughs> but, uh, I, I really gotta get home. I can't leave my grandmother for too long. Okay. Gia, um... Can I see you again? I mean, I, I'd really... I'd really love to. We'll see. Date. He seems like a nice guy. Grandma, please. I'm not the right girl for him. I'm not his level. You sure. Hello? Jay, I have something for you. Are you okay to work? Yes, yes, I can, please. Okay, sounds good. I'll text you all the info. And be careful, Gia. Okay. Okay, well, thank you. Grandma, I've got to get ready for work. Already? Mm-hmm. Okay, baby girl. special carrying girl. Don't worry about it. Let's just enjoy the day. Can we? Don't for 
y'all have fun? Not too much, I hope. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, I'm late. Uh, I gotta run. I'm happy you're feeling better, Gra- <laughs> She is, Grandma. Thank you for bringing joy back into my life today. Child. Grandma, that's not funny. I thought you were... What? Dead? No, not yet. <laughs> Come on, man. What? Not again. What? You're moving way too fast with this girl. You uh, barely even know her. She's probably just like all the others. Oh, I'm telling you, man, this girl is different. Look, when I look into her eyes, man, I, I see nothing but this loving, caring beautiful, kind-hearted woman. Man, you know what? Just because I ran across some unfaithful women, it doesn't mean they're all like that, right? I'm telling you, man, Gia's different. She's special. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Do I have to go down the list? What? All right, man, you, you asked for it, all right? Girl number one, she cheated on you. Girl number two, had a secret lover that you didn't even know about. Let me skip to the last one, the one that you married, remember? She was pregnant with her ex's baby while she was married to you. I don't know what else to tell you. You should probably just give up, man. Just be more like me. Hit it and quit it. Hey, everybody know my game, man. Smash and dash, man. Crush and rush. <laughs> Sorry, Martel. You know what? I'll never be like you, man. There's always hope, bro. Yeah, 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 lover boy. Do you think you some kind of hero or something? Dude, you can't save every girl. I, don't, I wish you would just listen to me for once. Whatever, man. situation and you'd give up your life to save mine it's not that grandma it's alexander i really like him it's the first and made me feel special again why are you crying you should be happy so hard to support us for these last few weeks. And you deserve it so much. I have to be honest with you. What is it? You can I'm, tell me anything. I don't work in an office. I'm a call girl. A call girl? Yes. A call girl. An escort. I go to different men's houses to satisfy their needs. I had no choice. 
<laughs> I tried to find a job, but no one was hiring. <laughs> we needed food, and the bills were piling up. I had no choice. You're the last one I have left, and I can't lose you. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Grandma. I knew if I told you what you'd say, you'd never let me do it. Baby, no. You don't have to tell yourself. I would rather die than to let you ruin your life and destroy you. I'm old. I've lived a long life. You deserve so much more. So much love and success and happiness to you. I'm so sorry, Grandma. Look, baby. I know this man loves and cares about you very much. I can tell. Never build a relationship on lies. You need to call him and tell him everything. I love you, Grandma. I love you too, baby. Man, we was the sh- Whoa, whoa, whoa. I told you, man. No cursing in the house. Yes, Father Al. <laughs> nah, but for real though, man, we were on top of our game, man. Best in our class. I know, man. <laughs> you know, I just could never figure out how you passed school, you know? <laughs> right? <laughs> Considering the only thing that you studied were human bodies, <laughs> namely female bodies. <laughs> yeah, man, that's because I know how to. Whoa, 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 hold, hold that thought. Hi. Miss me already? <laughs> okay. All right. See you soon, baby. I gotta go. Let's go, bro. Seriously? All right. Well, I'm taking this to go. That's it, man. Travel. You couldn't stay away from me. Me too. I have to ask you something. Anything. Why is it like you're not married? With kids. <laughs> well, I was married once. Only to find out that my marriage was all a lie. She never loved me. <laughs> you know, she she married me and then she had a baby with her ex. I tell you what, Gia, I hate liars. You know, nothing makes me angrier than someone who deceives. And you know, anyways, that's, that's all behind me now. See, I found you now, Gia. And you're different, I, I just know it. No, I'm not. Yes, Gia, No, I'm not. I have to be honest with you. Sure. After my parents died, I had to go live with my auntie. She took care of me. Then she got sick with cancer. I had to take a lot onto my shoulders. I had to do things. Things I never wanted to do. To pay for the bills. It was so hard. And after a few years, she died anyways. Now I'm living with my grandmother. She's sick too. And I have to support her. Look, the night that you met me, when you found me, Trash. 
Listen to me, you're a victim, Gia. It's not your fault. But it, but it is. It is my fault. No, it's not. It's my job. To please them. Wait. You're... 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 You're, you're a prostitute? I'm so sorry. Gia, you're a prostitute? I'm so sorry. the people that I love. You probably hate me now. Oh my god. Gia, I... I, I Alexander, I, I, please. I don't know what to say. I mean, this is... You know, this is a lot for me to take in right now. Alexander, please. You're a prostitute? I'm sorry. Look, I, got, I gotta go, please. I gotta go. Just... Please. Gia, please. I gotta go, okay? I... Thank you for your honesty. No, please, Alexander. Please, no. I be so stupid. Why does this always happen to me? Damn. Hey. I just wanted to tell you how sorry I am. This is why I didn't want to let you in. I knew that if you knew the truth, you'd look at me differently. You'd see me how I do. I wish my life was just a big nightmare I could wake up from. I really care about you. You deserve someone smart. Someone like you. Someone amazing. Let me knock it. Uh, deja vu, huh? <laughs> Bro, I hate seeing you like this, man. Look, I read your text. 
I'm I'm really sorry to hear that. Come on, man. You got to pick yourself up, man. Dust yourself off. Get back on the horse. Right? Dang it, man. Why can't I find myself a, a good, decent girl? You know? A, a normal girl. One with a less friendly vagina. <laughs> yeah, look, man. I, to tell you the truth, I'm so against the whole settling down and getting married thing, man. Like, I'm just... I'm so afraid to be in your shoes, you know? But, you know, to be honest, like, you're such a good guy. You treat women well, unlike myself. But I have to say, though, man, after analyzing the whole situation, her situation, I, I do think she's a one-of-a-kind girl. I mean, look, it seems like she sacrificed herself to be there for the one that she loved. I can understand that. Hey, at least she told you the truth. Come on, man. You got to lighten up. It's not the end of the world. All right. What about this? Let's go get something to eat. We can talk about it. I'll pay. It's on me this time. The black guy that never pays. Let's go. Come on. Are you going to pay with my credit card again? Most likely. Just put it on my tab. You know I'm good for it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We got to drive your car. I don't got no gas. Oh. Man. I can't do this anymore. I can't lose my grandmother. Please, God. I beg of you. Don't take her from me, too. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, Gia. Unfortunately, she does not have much time left. The surgery has to happen now. Without it, her chances are minimal. I'm sorry. I mean, is there anything we can do? I mean, we don't have the money, but can the insurance cover it and make payments back? Look, this type of procedure is only discounted on her insurance plan. It's not covered in full. You'd be responsible for the remainder of the payment, unfortunately. If we're up to me, I, I would... It's okay, baby. You've done everything that you can do. I need you to stop crying and worrying. It's my time. So that's it? You're just gonna give up? So oh, selfish. Not only are you giving up on yourself, but you're giving up on me too. If I lose you, I will have nothing. Okay, what do we got? What's the level? It's uh, 230 over 120. Okay, let's give her 15 milligrams of naproxen, stat. Come on, let's do this, let's do this. Stabilizing? Okay, let's get this in her, okay? Response? No. Come on, stay with us, stay with us. So much. 
watch grandma. When I was little, my mom used to tell me about how great a mother you were. From what I can remember, you were a great mother too. Understand that you can't be with me forever. I just need a little longer. This is your time to go. And go with God, Grandma. Give Mama a kiss for me. And tell her that I love her. You guys ready for this? Ready for what? We don't have the money. Well, it's paid for already. You didn't know. What? How? By who? He says he's your future husband. Sorry I ran out on you. On us. It took me some time, but, but I realized that you gave yourself for the good of a loved one. You never lied. And I never asked. Gia, you are such an amazing woman. And I promise you, I'll never run out on you again. If you'll have me. you make me the happiest man in the world? <laughs> yes, of She? We are all blessed today. She made it. Thank <laughs> God she made it. Now she's fine. Oh, oh thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, Hunter. <laughs> because of our great love for Alexander and Gia. In the presence of God to witness uniting of this couple in the holy institution of marriage. Based on the charge that you have received today and based on the vows that you have taken in the sight of God and these witnesses today, Alexander and Gia, we rejoice with you that the two roads that brought you here will be one as you live. You may now kiss the bride. Dear 
you go. <laughs> hey. Hey! hey. Oh, what's up, brother? Congratulations again. All right, you guys really deserve each other. Oh, thanks, right? man. Hey, this guy right here is like my brother. All right, he inspires me. Right? Without him, I would have never finished school. You know what? In fact, I got a surprise for you. What? Come on, baby. Meet Sandra. <laughs> my fiance. What? Oh, Sandra, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you.